Okay, in this lesson, I'm just going to do a rigid body simulation, and there's a lot of topics that I want to point out here. I want to go over what a shape, a collision shape is for rigid body simulations, how to bake keyframes, and also I'm going to show a couple ways on how to animate something disappearing so I can switch out a keyframed object and replace it with a rigid body. Okay, so let me start over with the, the lesson where things aren't finished. Okay, check this out. I've got a low res car here and I switch it out with a rigid body. Okay, so right away I'm just going to select this force field. It's a wind field and the strength of the wind field in the physics tab is only at 10. Let me just bump that up to 25 because the car wasn't actually going over the cliff. Okay, now it's falling. Now as you see it falling, it looks really strange. It's not falling down the cliff. It's like there's like an invisible mountain there. Okay, why is that happening? Well, this cliff is a passive rigid body. I'm in the physics menu again. It looks like a planet orbiting around uh, or a moon orbiting around a planet. This passive rigid body has a collision shape of convex hull. So it's not really respecting the geometry. It's not really, there's no collisions happening based on the vertex position. So I'll switch the collision shape from convex hull to mesh. And let's rewind and play. You can see now the collisions are happening based off of the mesh. Okay, I want to make this collide maybe I want it to fall down the cliff a little more. So let me just alter this geometry a bit more. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, I also would like this car to be heavier. So I'm just going to increase the mass to maybe 20 kilograms. Went from 1 to 20. And obviously now my wind has to be the strength of the wind has to be bumped up. Maybe I'll just bump it up to 750. Okay, with heavier mass, it's going to fall and it's going to react a little bit differently when it falls. Just going to adjust the shape of this cliff here. Okay, I think that'll be a little more dramatic. All right, now, when this rigid body falls, eventually I want to parent, I want to parent a high res car to this stuff. I want to parent a high res car to the low res car. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bake this rigid body to keyframes. I'm going to bake this, uh, the fall to keyframes so that Blender no longer has to calculate simulations and no longer has to calculate the collisions. So the way I'm going to do that is select the rigid body. It's currently invisible. I'll talk about that in a moment. And down in the rigid body menu, I will choose bake to keyframes. Okay. Uh, let me give myself a little more time on my timeline, maybe 125. All right. Let's bake this animation, 1 to 125. And now that animation is baked. Okay, if I select this rigid body car, it was once a rigid body, you can see that there's no rigid body node on it anymore. This cliff no longer needs to even be a rigid, a passive rigid body. I'm going to hit this X and get rid of that rigid body node. And now let's talk about how I switch these cars out. I started off with an animated car. It's been keyframed and then you might notice if you keep, keep your eye on the scale at frame 30, to 31, the scale of that car, here, let me switch to wireframe, the scale of that car goes down to zero. So that's what made it disappear. Now, the rigid body, the other car I switched it out with, that, that was invisible for a moment. Okay, and then it appeared. How did I keyframe that? I want to show this alternative. Instead of using scale, you could also keyframe the factor. 
Okay, a keyframe, the factor of a mixed shader. So it switches from a blue shader to a transparent one. That's how I got it to appear. Sometimes I don't want to mess with scale. Sometimes I just want to mess with the visibility. And I am using EV. In order to get a shader to be transparent, it's crucial that you go to the material menu and you switch the blend mode from opaque to alpha hashed. Okay, that's really important. Okay, let's talk about the parenting. At the beginning here, the child is the high res car. Let me make a duplicate and I'll call this high res car. I'll call the duplicate the one that's gonna fall. Okay, so I have two high res cars. The first one's gonna be parented to the keyframed car. Just using control P to parent it. Now I can hide this low res. Okay, and then it gets switched out. It gets switched out to the low res one. So what I'm gonna do is go to top view by hitting seven on the numpad. Let's turn on the high res car that's gonna fall and I'm just gonna rotate and try to match up the position and rotation here. Good enough. Now here's where I'm gonna make the parenting relationship. Child, hold shift, select the parent, control P, parent to the object. Now I can hide this low res rigid body. And here's my whole simulation. Um, okay, now I'm gonna to have to make sure that this high res car is current is invisible up until frame 31. Okay, it looks like I might want to move it forward a little bit as well. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the shader. Well, I'm just gonna keyframe the scale then, down to zero. S zero, whoops. I'm gonna keyframe the scale right here. And then one frame back, let's go S zero. Keyframe the scale at zero. And let's take a look at our animation. Okay, a little bit of a pop there. That's pretty easy to fix. It's really just, just gotta adjust that position there a little bit. So I'll hold shift and use my right mouse button to put my 3D cursor right where it's supposed to be. And let's take a look here. That's close enough. All right. So that's an that's a rigid body uh, lesson talking about collision shapes baking rigid bodies, parenting them, and then also just showing how to keyframe a mixed shader to switch between an opaque shader and a transparent one.